to review the master in financial engineering program from Baruch College. It's a very famous uh, place for uh, studies in quantitative finance and financial engineering. It's in the US. Uh, it's uh, primarily known for uh, quantitative finance studies. It's not necessarily a very well in you know, well known university for uh, other academic programs. Uh, but it's it, you know mostly uh, known for its programs in finance in particular quantitative finance financial engineering and similar programs in fact it ranks among the topmost programs all over the world in quant finance consistently for uh, many many years now in fact i remember 20 years back when i was in university i would even hear about uh, you know this particular place uh, for their master's uh, programs in in the field of finance uh, the risk.net, which is, you know, perhaps the most uh, reliable source for ranking for master's programs in the field of uh, finance, quant finance in, in general, has ranked Baruch College many times uh, as the topmost program uh, for financial engineering, you know, and quant finance. So let me go through their website to find more about this program. Uh, I've already seen this, but let me uh, take you through about the program. If you go to the website, you know, as expected, they have highlighted the achievements the, in the past and why you should go there for your studies. Uh, there are many famous people who have taught uh, in this particular uh, department. Many famous quants from the industry, but also from academia have been have been faculties in this uh, particular uh, place so let's go through their curriculum and see what's part of the curriculum you know the the most striking thing is that they have updated their curriculum more recently uh, based on the uh, you know changes uh, seen in the industry which is very rare actually in many academic programs you will see the curriculum doesn't change o over time you know you, you rarely see uh, changes being made to the curriculum simply because nobody is paying attention to what's happening in the industry most of the people who teach in university they have barely any experience with the industry neither they're you know interacting with the industry people so they don't know actually what are the the, the changes happening in the industry but this particular place has indeed uh, maintained relationship with the industry one reason being a lot of the faculties actually come from the industry itself. So many faculties are uh, applied people, people who have worked in the industry in the past or currently working in the industry. So the very applied course and you see a number of electives have been added. Uh, and many of these electives are actually men new, uh, for example, data science, big data, you know, 10 12 years, 20 years back, uh, you wouldn't see data science being taught in, in financial engineering or quant finance programs. But you see that being part of it now. Uh, tech, you know, topics like blockchain technology or uh, topics like, uh, yeah, systemic trade, yeah, I think blockchain and data science big data these are the new topics added most of the other topics are i would say traditional topics in the field of financial engineering so there is no difference to that and let's go through the the core courses now these are the electives right there are many new uh, electives added recently um, and these are the core topics starts with financial markets security software engineering like many one finance program don't teach anything about software engineering they teach only mathematics and mathematical modeling. That's actually not a, a good approach because uh, over time, quant finance has become more technical and a lot of the quants actually work in uh, engineering as areas and not just in research areas. Not everyone, but there are many students actually go into tech side of quant finance. And for them, software engineering is very important. Even if you work on the research side of quant finance, you'll still use quite a bit of programming and you should have good knowledge of software engineering because you know you need to really need to write and maintain code base and, and the coding infra the tech infrastructure and next to your job as a researcher. 
so therefore it's important that you have also this course and it's good that they have included you study about numerical methods in in finance which is again mathematical it's about numerical analysis and uses in the field of finance probability and stochastic process it's a very uh, you know very important topic in the field of finance and then you have a caption project good thing is that even the first semester itself i think you get caption project which is quite an interesting thing then you have many electives the fundamental trading statistics uh, market and credit risk management many uh, quant finance programs don't teach anything about uh, credit risk management and credit risk modeling um, they mostly focus on the market products and less on the banking lending products but one good thing with this program is that they have included a uh, quantitative uh, modeling in in the area of lending then you learn about asset allocation portfolio management so quite a bit of finance stuff also you know uh, risk management portfolio management these are not necessarily topics which are heavily quantitative but as a quant you must learn these topics because it's important to learn also the finance the normal finance stuff next to the mathematical parts learn about volatility filtering um, commodity trading and and future trading time series analysis and algorithmic trading so it's very important also give the applied side of time time series modeling which is you know it's heavily used in the field of trading so next to the theory of time series it's also important to learn the applications then you learn about the computational methods uh, i assume that's more about the the data structure algorithm taught in the field of computer science and how those topics can be used in the field of finance interest rate models and the derivatives again very academic topic from the field of finance many of the models that you will be learning as part of this particular modules will would be uh, you know from the heavy academic uh, literature in the field of finance credit risk models are included many programs don't teach you credit risk modeling but you will learn this topic as well you learn about uh, financial econometrics especially the applied part you learn about behavioral finance systematic trading and so on behavioral finance is very important it's not a te technical topic but it's super important in the modern finance in my view it's one of the most important thing i mean if you can use behavioral side of finance next to the mathematics it's it's the that's when the magic happens right yeah you'll also learn big data technology nowadays everything you do is very data intensive and storage of data is is important where to store and how best to store so having good knowledge of the data infrastructure is very important for any quant you learn about quite a bit of other things such as advanced econometrics financial markets and institutions again theory but very important even for quants it's not mathematical but still quite important learn about uh, option market and and so on all right so um, so full marks i would say 10 on 10 on the curriculum in my view it is perhaps the best curriculum i have come across many uh, programs teach you just mathematics and bit of finance some programs are heavily into just derivatives uh, just derivatives and nothing else as if quant finance is all about derivatives I actually not true and there are many quant finance programs or engin financial engineering programs which are heavily into just trading and just one or two asset class you know i think that's also not everything in quant finance right a good quant finance program in my view should strike a balance between uh, quantitative modeling in the field of trading in the field of asset management in the field of uh, valuations of assets all kinds of assets in the field of lending also in the field of insurance and hedging right if it if a, a program covers all of these topics then i would say it's more holistic it's a more, more complete program and then you can venture into any field you want to uh, venture into right faculty as i have said many of the faculties are from industry and quite a number of them in fact have worked at a very senior positions for different funds and investment banks um, yeah you can you can go through the list actually a lot of them actually are you know from the for example this guy is was uh, currently is a managing director at jp morgan chase somebody is a chief risk officer at barclay 
you know if you get to learn from CROs and managing director or the CQ uh, the CTO of of uh, of trading firm I mean there's nothing like that right if many of your professors are actually industry professionals there's nothing like that you know quant finance unlike many academic other academic programs is not a very heavily theoretical topic I mean it's an applied field it does have quite a number of theoretical areas but it is is an applied topic so it's best to learn from industry professionals okay admission you can you can look at the admission I think it's you know uh, what I've heard is that the admission process is pretty simple but uh, the selection the percentage of people who get through is actually quite small it's a highly competitive program so if you're really good if you have a strong mathematical background and if you're willing to move to the US or you are in the US and you want to do f from one of the best school for financial engineering I think this is one program to go ahead with they also have other details as in employment statistics and internship and employment report all that is th there I think you know anybody who is doing masters in financial engineering is obviously not doing f because he wants to do PhD and work as a professor you're doing because you want to be placed at a good firm right at asset management firm as, as a, at a, an insurance firm or at an investment bank and you want to make money good money right and th if that is what you're looking looking for then it's always good to look at the placement report and they have stellar placements uh, in the in the year 2022-2023 the highest salary offered was like 300k to, to fresher that's quite amazing right but that's only in the us you know in other parts of the world for quants you you won't make that kind of money the average it's still quite impressive which is about 200k uh, so this is superb right all right great so if you have further questions let me know thanks for watching 